how much will paying athletes improve college sports? Well, I think that it would allow us to not feel gross about watching college sports would be an improvement to me. But to be clear, the NCAA isn't going to pay the athletes. They're going to give the athletes an opportunity to get a second job. So, like, they still aren't paying them for the services that they are rendering. They're saying, well, if you want to go find somebody that'll, that you can endorse, you can go to a car dealership and get paid for showing up or something like that. I'll put your name on some product. So they, aren't, they still aren't paying them for the work that they're doing. But I do think it's a step in the right direction. And I don't necessarily, even though Reggie Bush somewhat backed off of what he said, I don't necessarily disagree with him. I think that obviously more money could be trouble for more guys, but less money doesn't make it safer. Like guys are, who are broke aren't in a better situation and guys who are working for free aren't in a better situation. So while I do think that money does complicate things, I think it's better to have it than not, especially if you are working a full-time job that's generating billions of dollars for other people. But I appreciate you letting me start on this, Laura, but we got to go to, to Jay Will here because – He's a guy who was good enough to possibly, maybe, maybe have gotten an envelope under the door at some point. I wasn't that good, though, so I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Whoop. Funny, you, you catered that differently you, when we were off camera, though. <laughs> I know he catered that differently when we were off camera. He, he, he's less he's taking a yeah. step back on that. I appreciate that, Nick. Uh, you, Max, do you want me to go? The money improve like it for you. Max? I think that's the question. No, no, please go. <laughs> You know, I, I'm with you, Nick. They're, they're, they're actually not paying players for the services rendered. Uh, they're, creation, they're creating another vertical of revenue that players are able to generate from their brand. And I'm, I'm also curious about when March Madness comes back around, if any of those brands want to activate those individual players, what portion of that revenue will that brand have to pay to the NCAA to use their name, image, and likeness, right? So there's a deal for the NCAA to create more revenue on the back end, too, as it relates to March Madness. But I, it, that's one conversation. I do think it will help college sports. I think it will open up college sports to a lot more brands, a lot more opportunities for advertising as well. Um, but the bigger conversation down the line uh, will come into the NCAA and conferences with TV revenue and things of that sort. That's still to be worked out down the line if you see the business catapulting to that degree. But back to what Reggie Bush did say, he's right. My man is right. Like, capitalism destroys a lot of people. And I, I think this is where the integrity of student-athlete really comes into play, guys. Because I, I think that, you know, look, you're already seeing University of California say that we're not going to accept ACT scores, uh, SAT scores, right? It's a marketing ploy. I like that. You're going to see colleges try to revamp and recreate their marketing collateral to bring more kids through colleges. So if you're going to start seeing more kids be trade-oriented, right, uh, you see this overseas, kids say, I want to be a technician or I want to be an electrician, like trade oriented. If you're a college athlete, how are you taking specific course loads that can better prepare you for when you can earn? And it behooves the NCAA to start pushing a lot of these kids in those particular course loads, right? To make sure that they have the right foundation that they can learn not only for them, but for family members as well. Uh, that they can actually learn what are the right habits to create to create sustainability with earning potential instead of just them spending money on frivolous things. So I, I think this is an opportunity. You know, talk about the NCAA. Your, your, their ability to pivot quickly and be nimble is going to be critical in times like this. And that's going to take a leadership by Mark Emmerich to say, now let's, let's make applicable course loads that can help the athlete continue to elevate his wealth instead of just him creating the wrong habits that can lead ultimately to their demise. So Reggie Bush was not wrong at all. Okay, um, you guys have covered a lot of what I wanted to say. I want to quickly say, guys, I could improve boxing. Watch this. I'll improve boxing. Um, um, winner take all, and you keep fighting until there's only one guy left standing. That would probably improve the entertainment you know, component of the sport. But, Dominique, I think you make an excellent point. You feel gross watching it because it's so exploitative. So, it, so does this improve? Does paying student-athletes improve college sports? No, it doesn't improve it. Maybe you could even argue it makes it worse, although I think your argument, like because there may be attendant problems, who gets paid what, and it's unfair and everything, but I think your argument actually carries the day, Dominique. Um, it, it actually improves the viewer experience in, in the sense that at, 
especially because of who's paying the athletes. Like, you know, it, you don't have to feel like you're just watching something totally exploitative. Who's paying the athletes? They're going to pay, pay the athletes. They're going to pay the athletes. Who's they? Not the colleges. Since when can a student not make money by some other legal means, yeah. particularly when it involves trading on their own likenesses? Mm -hmm. It's not illegal. It's against the NCAA's rules because right. the NCAA it wasn't enough to control a free labor market. They have to dominate the lives of those who make up the free labor market in order to keep their system, which I consider um, unethical, in place, or at least immoral, in place. So would, would, would paying student athletes improve college sports? That's debatable. I, I see arguments on either side. But let me say something else. You know, you could say more money, more problems, right? Those are the kind of problems you want to have. Yes. Take it from me. Like, you want to have those kind of problems. Being broke is not a problem you want to have. So the idea that there are attendant difficulties that come along with making money, right? Um, I I'm sure that's true. Jay, and you bring up the point as, as a former student athlete yourself and at a very, very high level, at what you have witnessed, maybe not, you know, with you, but what you have witnessed around you. Um, yeah, okay. You can have those kind of problems. That ain't bad, right? Being right. broke is a whole lot worse. Yeah. It just seems to me that this is like a little game that's being run by the powers that be for a long, long time. And now there's some kind of reflexive need or desire to, to defend the status quo because it's what people are used to. And I think it's nonsense. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.